history being made for the president at the United Nations. His first appearance before the world body as leader of the free world. He took part in several meetings already today. The big moment, though, comes tomorrow with his address to the General Assembly, one that will focus largely on the threats facing the world, specifically, obviously, North Korea. That's what they're focused on, those big sanctions in, uh, at the U.N. last week. Eric Sean is live at the United Nations in New York. Eric? Hello, Harris. Well, back in 2005, I interviewed then developer Donald Trump. We wanted to renovate the U.N. building. He called this uh, establishment either corrupt or incompetent. Well, he returned today as president of the United States and is holding it to account. The president attended a meeting on U.N. reform. He also met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. But as you say, all eyes are on the speech tomorrow to the General Assembly in which he will take North Korea to task. He is expected to call on the world body to unite against the threat posed by Kim Jong-un, even though the Security Council has so far over the last 11 years passed nine resolutions they have basically failed to rein that regime in. And the administration has raised the prospect of possible military action if indeed diplomacy does eventually fail. And by the way, uh, the North Korean delegation will be in the General Assembly a few rows from the President tomorrow as he speaks. We'll have to see though if they take his message to heart, Harris. What about what also is expected to be talked about, and that is Iran? Yeah, a major topic, of course. The president has threatened to tear up the Iranian nuclear deal, though he has been abiding by the uh, regulated guidelines every 90 days to keep it going. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani is here at the United Nations today. Earlier, he met with the Secretary General, Antonio Guterres. Uh, he speaks on Wednesday, and Rouhani is expected to lash out at the U.S., as well as defend the Iranian nuclear program. As he does on Wednesday, there will also be a massive rally against him just across the street. And the leader of the largest Iranian opposition group, the National Council of Resistance of Iran, Maryam Rajavi, says that simply Rouhani should be kicked out of the UN. This regime is responsible for mass executions in Iran, for slaughter of the people of Syria, destructive meddling in Iraq, support for terrorism and pursuing nuclear weapons and missile programs. And we'll see how the President's America First message uh, goes and plays down with the uh, diplomats here who basically have to rely on the largesse of American taxpayers to basically fund most of this organization.